Dr. Z, I've read and heard so often that if you go out in the sun and you get about 15 minutes a day, you'll get enough vitamin D. Is this accurate? It's not accurate at all. When some patients come and ask me the same question after they have read it in some newspaper, then I tell them one very simple thing that, okay, have your vitamin D level checked? And when they do, they're in big surprise. Most of my patients turn out to be low in vitamin D when they come to see me first time. And these are people who are living right here in sunny Southern California. They go outdoor more than 15 minutes a day. They are playing golf, they are playing tennis, jogging, and most of them are outdoor more than 15-20 minutes a day. And still, most of them are low in vitamin D. Now why now, is this? We are not getting enough vitamin D from sun. The 15 minutes is not it then? It's absolutely not. So upon exposure to sun, our skin starts forming vitamin D. But there are a lot of variables that control synthesis of vitamin D in our skin. And these are latitude, where you live, is important. The further you live from the equator, uh, the less your vitamin D synthesis is going to be from your skin. The time of the year, uh, during winter time, vitamin D synthesis is going to be low. Time of the day, the optimal time of the day for vitamin D synthesis in the skin is between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. and beyond that it's going to be pretty low. Uh, shade, clouds, clothing, sunscreen lotion, mm. Any sunscreen lotion with SPF more than 15 pretty much blocks out your vitamin D synthesis in the skin. Now imagine how many people go outdoor and uh, they don't apply white uh, sunscreen lotion. Hardly any. Even, even makeup has sunscreen in it now. Makeup has sunscreen lotion. I think most of the people who go outdoor, especially uh, in US, uh, they apply sunscreen lotion when they go outside. And you don't get any vitamin D when you do that? Almost none. Ah. With SPF more than 15, it blocks out more than 90% of your uh, skin ability to form a vitamin D. Now what about people with darker colored skin? Yes, I'm glad you asked. On top of that, people who have uh, darker skin, uh, they have uh, much less ability to form vitamin D. Because oh, it's, there's a substance called melanin uh, in your skin and that determines uh, the degree of darkness of the skin. That gives color to the skin. Uh, the more melanin you have, the darker your skin. Melanin works as sunscreen lotion. Hmm. So the more uh, melanin you have, the darker the skin, and uh, less vitamin D, that skin is going to form upon exposure to sun. Also aging. The skin of an elderly person is much less effective in forming vitamin D than the skin of a young person. So can you see now, there are so many variables that control vitamin D synthesis uh, in our skin. Uh, therefore, uh, a statement like, go outdoor 15 minutes a day, uh, is not scientific at all, and uh, is not true at all. Uh, and it's not working, apparently, according to your it's results. it's not working. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it comes to vitamin D uh, synthesis from skin, uh, with all these variables, uh, one size fits all does not uh, hold true here. I see. So what is your suggestion for getting the proper dose of vitamin D then? Well, the most important thing, first of all, is that go and get your vitamin D level checked. Okay. Uh, no guesswork, just find out exactly where your vitamin D is and go from there. Uh, briefly, you should get some vitamin D from sun if you have no history of skin cancer. Yes, go outdoor, you'll get some vitamin D. Uh, by the way, foods are a very poor source of vitamin D. Mm. But yeah, eat some fish, you get a little bit of vitamin D from there. But on top of that, your major source of vitamin D is going to be vitamin D supplement. Uh, make sure you get a good dose of vitamin D supplement. I've discussed all that in my book. And then periodically have your vitamin D level checked and make sure that it stays in a good range. I see. Thank you, Dr. Saidi. You're welcome. Thank you.